Hey, welcome to Tree Side Stories with Stephanie. But no, it's not really Tree Side Stories with Stephanie, but it is a great story from the Bible. And um, this was my motivation this morning. And it got me going. And as soon as I read this, it made me smile. And when I clicked on my app this morning to see what the Bible verse was, it came from Psalms 136. And it said it was verse 1. And verse, I think, 26. I was like, well, what's all in between there? So I read that, and with each verse, I just kept getting a smile on my face. So I'm going to read this to you, and hopefully you'll get a smile on your face, and maybe a verse will stick out to you. And then at the end, I'll tell you which verse hit me the most um, for right now, the time in my life. So here we go. Listen to this. It says, praise the Lord because he is good. His faithful love will last forever. Praise God of gods. His faithful love will last forever. Praise the Lord of lords. His faithful love will last forever. Are you smiling? Praise him who alone does wonderful miracles. His faithful love will last forever. I think you can start saying this with me now. Praise the one who used wisdom to make the skies. His faithful love will last forever. He spread the land over the sea. His faithful love will last forever. He made great lights. His faithful love will last forever. He made the sun to rule the day. His faithful love will last forever. He made the moon and the stars to rule at night. His faithful love will last forever. He killed the firstborn males in Egypt, both men and animals. His faithful love will last forever. He took Israel out of Egypt. His faithful love will last forever. He used his powerful arms and strong hands. His faithful love will last forever. He split the Red Sea into two parts. His faithful love will last forever. He led Israel through the sea. His faithful love will last forever. He drowned Pharaoh and the army in the Red Sea. His faithful love will last forever. He led his people through the desert. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated powerful kings. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated Shion. Sihon? I'm not sure how that said. King of the Amorites. His faithful love will last forever. He defeated Og, king of Bashan. I said that one wrong too, but his faithful love will last forever. He gave their land to Israel. His faithful love will last forever. He remembered us when we were defeated. His faithful love will last forever. He saved us from our enemies. His faithful love will last forever. He provides food for all living things. His faithful love will last forever. And then here's the last verse. Praise the God of heaven. His faithful love will last forever forever. You ever seen that movie with the dog and the kids? I think it was Stand By Me, wasn't it? Maybe. That was a great movie. But the verse that hit me today, thinking about some stuff that's going on, I told y'all the other day, um, and with friends and family and just different things, and even the interview that I had with my friend Julie and, and the miracle in their life, and thinking about um, her brother, how I've read that book about um, heaven and how miracles happen? Well, it was verse 4 when it says, Praise Him alone who does wonderful miracles. Y'all, God is in the miracle-making business still today. And do you need a miracle in your life? And I was thinking today as I'm driving around town, I was thinking about, oh, the small and huge miracles that God has performed in my life. I think about whenever one time, I don't know why, I just wasn't even focusing, and I drove right through a red light, a red light, and it was a busy, normally busy, busy intersection. But no, no cars came when I just haphazardly, I don't even know why, I don't know what I was thinking because I had my kid in my car, and Holly even, I remember her going, oh, Mommy just ran a red light, and I was like, oh no! And God saved us. That was a miracle because there's usually semis and everything crossing that road. Park Road in 92, if you're familiar where it is, crossing over a railroad track. But miracles happen every day. And I want you to think about the miracles that's happened in your life. And also while I was reading that and how it talks about um, 
how God did this and God did this and God did this. I was thinking about my interview with Julie when she was when she was telling God in her prayer, remember God, that you um, you did this and you parted the seas and you raised this person from the dead and you did that. I mean, she was claiming all the miracles and God's probably sitting there going, yep, I remember that. You keep remembering that too because I am the same God. So if you have to, read over this Psalms 136 and even go back, what would be really cool, go back and where it talks about he departed the Red Seas. Well, go back and read that in the Bible because that same God that did all the miracles in the New Te Old Testament, Jesus performed these new miracles in this New Testament. And we have the same power, y'all, the same power within us. And he is still performing miracles today. So I hope you have a miracle today. And remember, his faithful love, what does it say? Will last forever. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. And God bless you. And it's the season to be jolly. And he is the reason for the season. Y'all take care. Have a great day.